The person I skate with the most in this city is a scooter kid. I've never even known a scooter kid before I moved to New York City, and I didn't even know scootering had a scene at all. John Ray's and I met because we share a lot of similar passions. We both love New York City, we both like to make videos, we both make a living from social media, we both roll around, except my tool of choice has four wheels, his only has two. So how did we get him to stop scootering? Not that there's anything wrong with it, but maybe it would be better if he just tried skating. Okay, here's the plan. The second that John takes a break from scootering, I'll grab it and burn it. I'm just kidding, I'm just gonna ride it. But at that moment, he'll feel compelled to grab my skateboard. He'll try it out, he'll fall in love with it and realize that it's the best thing in the world and he'll never understand why he ever scooted in the first place. Foolproof plan, let's try it. Riding the scooter is extremely fun because I think it's the nostalgia of having like a Razor scooter when you're a kid. But it feels like a blast right now. I'm gonna keep riding it for a little bit while John enjoys my skateboard. I think I've come into a new realization. John, I've had a realization. This scooter is more fun than my skateboard. That's a quit your career and start this. What's the problem? Just start over with this? Yeah. But I already spent- If you're bored of this, I just watched the Gary Vee video and he pretty much said like, if you're bored of something, <laughs> stop and do the new thing. Dude, so, all right, well, how about this? I trade my skateboard for your scooter right now. Like, like for, for good? Yeah. For how long for good? For like life for like good. Life? Yeah. But I'm gonna get bored of this too. You're bored of that? Look, it's upside down. It's like on the side of the road. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm totally joking. If you watch my channel, you know that I actually enjoy trying to ride a scooter and I should do it more often. But now that it's cold and it hurts my hands, I don't really want to. So instead, I'm gonna skate here and just see if I can do tricks in this 28 degree weather. <laughs> This is a take what you can get session. That's what it's called because it's so cold that anything you land is an accomplishment. So. Legitimately, for no slides, I've discovered something new that I've never even thought of before. So I've always been able to do tail slides, and when I do them, I ollie full weight onto the ledge. I stand up as tall as I can. The board isn't even level, it's actually more tweaked, so my front foot is lifted in the air like an extra inch. Anyways, I've never gone about no slides thinking that I need to be extra torqued up like that, and now that I've been trying it, it, it <laughs> Stuttering is sick, dude. Now that I've been really trying to nosedive into the ledge and have my tail in the air, I've actually been able to do front side nose slides way better. I feel like I have a lot more control. I can kind of hold them for a 
kind of good distance, at least this far. And I'm pretty, pretty pumped. On my way out, I got stuck. That was a ton of fun. I really want to go longboarding again because the other day in my last video, you saw that I done did that. And it was so, so much fun. I got electric skateboards, I got scooters, longboards, all types of things that I've been playing with. One thing, that I, one thing that I definitely underestimated with the scooters is how much it hurts my wrist doing it just for the short time that I did it. I'm just throwing so silly and I can't believe how much it hurts because it also limits the other thing that I can do while I'm indoors. Oh, look at that beautiful view from the window. Hello, fog. I have a tech deck and it doesn't hurt my wrist yet, but at least I can play around with something that resembles a skateboard while I'm incapacitated by the weather. Also, you're probably gonna be seeing a lot more of my apartment. Here it is. So it doesn't hurt my wrist, so on rainy days like this, and that we'll have a lot of in the winter, I'm gonna be playing around. As much as I love hanging out with John and skateboarding at these parks and just scootering as well, it's that's fun. I like to sit here and get a lot done and work on the other projects that I have going on. And I know some of you follow my Instagram, have you seen that I've been doing things? It's been a while, but I just uploaded another video to my Progress Daily channel. I have all these ideas for behind the scenes of how I do this and how I just make videos in general and how I make a living doing it that I wanna share with people. So Progress Daily, I uploaded a video about my setup for my camera and that channel will be dedicated to all of that. And I also know my podcast channel isn't for everyone, but the whole idea is to just try to make some videos to see what lands and see what works. And I am working on animations every day and I am watching anime all the time. So a part of me feels like it has to create around that. It's just, that's just how I operate. So if you are interested, you can check out both of those channels if you're interested in either or of those topics. But right now I'm actually working on videos right now. So I'm gonna dip out of this video. Thank you for tuning in today. I will see you every Tuesday and Thursday for a new video. If you wanna keep up with me on the regular, I'm always uploading content. You can follow my Instagram at John Hill just to see everything that I'm doing in real time. Follow my story. I always be posting on there about the things that I'm working on and I'll see you next Tuesday or Thursday. Love you so much. Progress daily and keep killing it.